Hi everyone, my name's Maya. I was born in Camden Town in London, which is probably the coolest place in the world. When I was 13, my weird mum decided we'd move to South Africa. So we flew to Cape Town with my two dogs and an ancient cat. I went to a fantastic college called Face to Face and studied makeup, special effects and prosthetics. This is my makeup, beauty and lifestyle channel. Hi everyone, my name is Maya and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a favourites video, so I'll be talking about my favourite makeup products and also my favourite skincare products. So firstly I'm going to be starting off with skincare. So the first skincare product is a Lush Bubble Bar. Now this is the Bright Side Bubble Bar, so it's orange and red and yellow tones and it has a very citrusy scent to it. And for me, I much prefer their bubble bars to their bath bombs, even though their bath bombs are absolutely brilliant and there's a very wide range of them. For me, their bubble bars create more bubbles because that's technically what they're supposed to do. And the scent lasts a lot longer on your skin. So this one in particular has a fresh um, sort of bergamot type of scent with orange oils in it as well. And you run it under hot water and it creates the most amazing volcanic like bubbles. So, the next product is a moisturizer. This is the Johnson's Skincare Range and it's the Fresh Hydration Moisturizer. And this, especially for me, is amazing for dry skin. Even though it says it's for normal skin, it contains rose water. And rose water is really good at quenching dry skin's thirst. So it also balances out the marks on your skin and gives you a really fresh, radiant glow. So the next product is also a rose water product. It's witch hazel and rose water as a mixture. Now witch hazel is actually one of the oldest skincare products used in the olden days before they had any other skincare. And it's got a very healing property to it and it's gentle enough to put anywhere on your skin. So even if you are having very sensitive eyes, you can also put it on your eyes as well or on the skin over your eyes. <laughs> so for this product I use as a toner, and a toner is what you use after you wash your face with a face wash and before you put your moisturizer on. And a toner is to get rid of any of the gunk that you still have in your skin or on top of your skin, and it's also to tighten and cleanse your pores. So the next product is also from Lush. It's their bubblegum flavored lip scrub. And this is made of sugar and jojoba Jojoba? Jojoba oil. I think that's how you say it. I'm not quite sure. So it's made of sugar and jojoba oil and this really moisturizes your lips as well as exfoliates them. And I find a lot of other lip scrubs that I've used exfoliates them really well but doesn't necessarily leave your lips feeling moisturized or nourished enough. And this for me from Lush is absolutely great. It's also vegan and it's also edible. I wouldn't recommend actually eating the entire pot but if you get it on your lips, you can lick it off, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> so the next product is also a lip product. It's the Blistex Daily Conditioning Treatment. And now this for me is amazing for dry lips, especially in South Africa, we now have winter. So especially for the winter conditions, when your lips are dry, they're cracking, you're maybe not drinking as much water as you usually would, so they need a lot more moisture and a lot more um, TLC, if you will. So this for me, this product exfoliates your lips without being an exfoliant. So if you would usually exfoliate your lips and then put a lip balm on, this actually does both in the same product. So for me, it's just great and it's Two in one. So the next product is a combination of two different oils. It's a combination of rosemary and lavender essential oil. And this is by the brand, this is by a local brand called Tara Tara. I'll leave all the links for all the products in the description so you can find them yourself. And this for me is brilliant because it's in rolling form, which makes it really easy to apply to any part of your skin. I specifically use this underneath my makeup after I apply my moisturizer to give a really nourished, glowing look to your skin. And then also it has really good healing properties for your skin as well. So now we'll be moving on to my favorite makeup products. And the first product is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I'm in the shade Soft Beige. And the reason why I love this foundation is because it's full coverage without being cakey. It lasts 
all day long and still gives you a natural looking skin so you don't have to keep touching it up throughout the whole day. And it's cruelty free, which means it doesn't test on animals. The next product is a primer, and this is by the Nivea Men's Collection, and it's the Sensitive Post Shave Balm. So I use this as a primer because it's got a very sticky base. I think it contains glycerin, which means it makes the product stick to your skin more. In turn, it makes your makeup last all day long. And I also, because I have dry skin, I much prefer using hydrating primers to silicone primers because silicone based primers usually dry out your skin more and give you more of a matte finish. Whereas this is hydrating, so it gives you more of a glowy finish. Now the next product is a bronzer and you can't actually see the logo because it's rubbed off. You can't actually see the logo, the logo, but it's the logo. But it's by The Body Shop and it's their marbled bronzer and it's in the shade Golden Bronze. Now the reason why I like this product is because I much prefer using a bronzer with more of a shimmery undertone than a matte bronzer because again, the whole theme going through this whole thing is sort of glowy skin. So for me, this creates a really glowy sun-kissed look without looking like you have bronzing makeup on. Now the next product is a concealer. This is by LA Girl Cosmetics and it's their Pro Conceal. I'm in the shade Natural and this I put under my eyes and anywhere where I want to highlight my skin and also conceal at the same time. So usually in the T-zone and underneath your eyes. And the reason why I love this product so much is one, it's very affordable, but it's such a good product worth your money. So you can build it up to become very full coverage and you can still get a natural look at the same time. For me, it's one of the best concealers I've ever used. So the next product is an eyeshadow palette and it's by Morphe. And this is the 350M eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And it has the most beautiful orange, bronze, and even some red tones. And for me, this is an all conclusive eyeshadow palette. It's just got all the colors that you need for natural warm looks. And especially if you have blue eyes like me, the orange and the warm undertones really brings out the color of your eyes. And for me, this is a very staple eyeshadow palette in my makeup kit. The next product is a lip product. This is the Yardley London Liquid Matte Lip Vinyl, and it's a liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Engine Red. Now the reason why I love this product is because it lasts all day. I've never used another liquid lipstick that lasts as long as this one. And if you blot it with a tissue, it doesn't transfer at all. And the color is such a beautiful warm toned red. And the applicator, I'll actually just show you the applicator on the inside. The applicator is so easy to use. It's the perfect size and it doesn't smudge at all. Now this next product is a highlighter. And this is the highlight, the highlight of this. It's by Makeup Revolution. And again, you can't really see the logo, so I'm just gonna turn it around. And it's the Reloaded Highlighter. And it's in the shade Dare to Divulge. They have quite a wide range of um, shades and colors. But for me, this one in particular is sort of like a rose gold finish. I actually have it on today, so. You can kind of see. And for me, this highlighter is absolutely insane because firstly, it's quite a big pan. So you get lots of product worth for your money. And it's also the most amazing formula. It blends out like butter without taking away the product. So it's still really glowing and makes you glow like the moon. It's amazing. Favorite Holy Grail product. Next up is the Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go two-in-one primer setting spray. Now I use this as both a primer and a setting spray. The scent is very neutral, so it's not too overpowering. The spray, I always find with setting sprays, some of them don't necessarily have a good spray mechanism. So you spray it on your face and it sort of goes all over in like blotches and it's not exactly what you want. So for me, the spray mechanism is perfect. It actually does what it says it does. It makes your foundation and your makeup last all day. And as a primer setting spray as well, I like to put it on before my makeup, after my moisturizer, and it just locks in my moisture into my skin. The next product is also an eyeshadow palette from Morphe. It's the 350S palette. So it has the same 
eyeshadows as the 350M palette, but they're all in shimmers. So this is what the inside looks like. So you have some shimmers and some metallics. And for me, this palette is absolutely amazing because the shimmers are very buttery and they don't have a lot of fallout and they're unbelievably pigmented. And the shades and the tones and the colors are just absolutely beautiful. And it's, for me, one of the best shimmery eyeshadow palettes I've used in my entire makeup career. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I hope you go and buy or test out some of these products if you like them. Please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button if you want to, you don't necessarily have to. And I'll see you again next time for another video. And as they say in London, see you later. And as they say in South Africa, tot ziens.